Hello everybody, welcome to Northwest Wing Shooters. My name is Rob. I want to thank you all for watching. Today we're going to be out hunting quail, huns, and chucker. New spot for us today. Coop's ready to go. Hope you guys like the video. If you do, please like and subscribe. Um, I really appreciate that. Uh, thanks for watching again and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Put him up. Gotta figure out how to get across this ditch. There's water in it. Just a little bit. That's good. No birds. Kind of bumped those quail. We're just sitting down here in this draw. Dead bird! Dead bird! Catch it up! Good boy, dead bird, find it. No, come on, dead bird. He didn't mark it. Dead bird, come on, touch it up, let's go. Dead bird. Good boy, dead bird. He doesn't have the best nose for these quail. Of course, good boy, dead, hunt dead. Dead bird, touch it up. He smells it now. Good boy. Good boy. Bring it here. Here. Bring it here. Good boy. All right, guys, well, that didn't take long. Nice uh, male California quail. There's more in here, so we're gonna keep going. Perfect little spot for him. Yeah, this is definitely where they were hanging out. He's heading right up to where I saw two land. Flush that one. No bird. These birds don't hold. Problem is, there's just no cover for them up here. I have to start woeing him up when I see that he's smelling them. There's no wind, which doesn't help at all. It's a nice little covey we got into. Just need to get into some more. It's very unusual how the quail behave here. I think it's because of the cover. You can see there's not a lot of sagebrush or anything for them to hide in. There's at least a few quail up in this draw though. It's a matter of getting to them. Gotta be in this bottom somewhere or on these hillsides. Problem is they're gonna be wind washed. 
Don't leave a lot of scent in the first place. Should at least have another bird or two in the bag. If it weren't for my terrible shooting. No bird. Scared the piss out of me. I'm gonna run out of shells for this endeavor. I really need to practice. Oh my God, this draw looks like the dream. Could this be quail heaven? No bird. I suck at shooting guns. Good boy. Didn't miss that one. Bring it here, bud. Dead bird, get it. Good boy, Coop. Good boy. We're in them now, Coop. Three males that I've shot. There's another one. That's the first one I shot in here. Well, this draw has to be empty now. I love it when you can see the prey drive kick in and they just go for it like that. I came in here looking for, thinking I was gonna be looking for Huns and Chucker, but man, I kind of found a little quail pocket here. Haven't had any real good points, but Except maybe the first one, and then maybe a flash. It's pretty birdie right here. We'll see where we end up when we get to the top of this. We kind of ran out of quail habitat, but we've definitely gained some elevation. Not enough brush for the quail, I suppose. We'll be back with you in a minute. All right, we're about to crest the hill. Let's see what's on the other side. Tell you what, going to South Dakota in a couple weeks. Can't wait for flat land. <laughs> it's gonna suck. Before we go up that, we're gonna take a little break. And while we're sitting here, I wanna talk about the collar that we got on Cooper. Cooper's wearing the dog trip pathfinder and he's got the uh, regular size. They also make it in mini. Um, he's a pretty large Brittany, so this collar works for him. However, uh, you know, if your Brittany is uh, more on the normal size, a little bit smaller, um, then you'll probably want to go with the mini. Um, now with the mini, you do have a little less range uh, than with the regular. So if you can get the regular, or if you can try to get one, try one on before you buy it, I would highly recommend that. It works really good for us. And the way that it works is you have this receiver um, that you wear around your neck. And this links to your phone via Bluetooth and the antenna via GPS to his uh, antenna. You can set it up so that you have point alerts and all that, and then Recently, they got the new Apple Watch app. Three screens to choose from. So we got this one, which shows direction and distance to the dog. Um, as you can see, it says that he's 25 feet away that way, and there he is. So it's pretty cool. You also have page two. On page two, we have uh, corrections. So you can actually apply correction to your dog with the e-collar functions, which is really cool. Page three, is a moving map and this one to be honest i don't really use too often i don't have the maps downloaded and we don't have very good service right here that's why 
Um, it just shows the grid with our locations. But if if the map is something that you want, you can always go online and, and download the maps. They're just Google Maps, Google satellite imagery. Uh, I think you can also select topo imagery too, and it actually takes up less less room. Oh, and there you go. There's an example of a point alert. If the dog stands still for a certain amount of time, then you'll get the alert on your phone that he's on point. And you'll get it on your watch as well. And you can uh, you you can set the alerts up however you want. If you don't want to hear the voice, it says, you know, you can name your dog. It'll say Cooper pointing, as you may have heard in previous videos. If you don't want that, you uh, can turn that off. Just turn it to vibrate mode. And then, or you can just set it so that you get the alerts on your watch. Uh, but I highly recommend uh, the system, especially if you have an Apple Watch or are interested at all in getting one, because uh, it is super handy to be able to just see where your dog is with the turn of a wrist, otherwise on your phone too. Another thing I want to address with the phone, a lot of people are concerned about it draining battery. I've never ever had an issue with draining battery. I've hunted 10, 10 hour days with it and my phone is still could last another day almost it seems so it has a screensaver mode and all that and um, i don't know if you guys are interested let me know in the comments below um, i can uh, do a video about how to set up the uh, pathfinder um, it is a little bit to do with that obviously the the system was made for multiple types of hunting dogs it's made for hounds and pointing breeds flushing breeds um, so there's certain ways you want to set it up or that i recommend setting it up for a pointing breed and uh, I can go through that with you guys if you want yeah just let me know in the comments below we're gonna start heading up this hill and uh, yeah we'll catch up with you guys at the top I don't see any chucker droppings or anything anywhere of course to be fair I haven't been seeing them where I've been shooting them either Let's see if we can find any tracks This is where they should be. Okay. Well, there's feathers. So that's a good sign. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. Chucker. It's old, but you can see that's chucker droppings. This is where they like to hang out in these rocks. So, there's got to be birds around here somewhere. There's feathers too. Just found a feather. There, right there, that's your stereotypical chucker feather right there. So we're in the right place. I walked all the way to the top of this mountain. There's sign up here, but something's got him excited here. Gotta be some huns or something. Some sagebrush over here. This is where Cooper went. If I was a bird, that's where I'd hang out. Oh yeah. Definitely. Birds around here. You can see all their little trails. The question is, where are they right now? looks prime for quail. It's almost too overgrown. Can't even hunt it really.
just gotta let him figure it out. Suppose they gave us the slip? He pointed him twice. Alright, well we made a big circle. Now this is the... He's moving. This is the lower part of the draw that we were hunting in earlier. That was a big covey. I don't know if I should go after him or... I know one went this way, that's probably... I thought Cooper was in there for a second. But it was the birds fluffing around. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed that hunt out here. We got into a couple uh, really good sized coveys of quail. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to shoot any out of the second one, but uh, definitely a spot I'd like to come back to and see if I can find those birds again, because there's a lot of quail in here. Saw some sign of chucker up at the top of the mountain, but uh, didn't really see any chucker or any huns. Uh, it looks like maybe this burned. A few years back, I'll have to look on uh, online and see when the last time this burned is. Maybe there's just not enough food and cover for them anymore. Um, but yeah, it's good for quail, that's for sure. So, Coop and I are just taking it easy here. Coop. He doesn't really like the camera much, guys. It's all about business. But we managed to get three quail, which is nice. I still have a pun that I need to eat from Saturday. So we'll uh, have some quail and hunt for dinner. I think that'll be pretty good. Hello everybody. Today we are out at Quail Corner again. I wanted to come back out and try it again. It's raining a little bit so I don't know how good the footage is gonna be. We'll try to keep the lens clean and just step over this hill. It's where we should get into some birds, so we'll be back with you guys in a bit. Cooper pointing. Ooh. Cooper's thinking there's birds in here. Oh yeah, there is. Just seen one flush up and over the hill. Unless he bumped a covey. I don't know what happened here because all I saw was the one bird go. Whoa. Cooper pointing. Dead bird. Good boy. Seen it go down in that bush over there. Coop. Hey. He didn't mark it. Come on, dead bird, let's go. Good boy, find it. Good boy, dead bird. I think it went down right here. 
Good boy, find it. Good boy, dead bird. Good boy. He's got it. Here, hey. Good boy. Leave it. Good boy. It's really birdie in here. Good boy. Here. Good boy. Good boy, bud. That was interesting shot. Thing was coming right at me. He was working it up this draw and it just flushed straight towards me because I was being quiet. Hopefully there's something left of that one. He didn't point it, but he worked it at least. First I thought it was flying away from me, but then it just started getting bigger and bigger and I was like, well shit, I guess I better shoot. Must be another straggler from that covey we broke up earlier. All right, everybody. Well, uh, I think that's a wrap on the hunt today. Managed to scratch out a couple quail from uh, quail corner again. Coop, did we have fun, bud? Wag your nub if you had fun. There we go, there's the wag, good boy. Good boy. My shooting was a little better today. I hit two of the two birds that I shot at, so that's a plus. I hope you guys enjoyed this two-part video. The next video is going to be out in South Dakota. That's right, we're going to South Dakota, and we're going to try to get some roosters. I'd really like to bag a prairie chicken or a sharp tail or both. Taking my dad along, so uh, drop a thumbs up if you like the videos uh, with me and my dad. And uh, also, and Mike's going to be out there too, Mike and Luna, so, um, and his dad. So that'll be the first time you guys see them this year. Anyway, if you did like the video, please like and subscribe so you can uh, see more awesome wing shooting content like this. Uh, but for now, Coop and I are out.